Okay, now for my favorite type of pom-pom. It is the speckle pom-pom. So here's one I made earlier. <laughs> I feel like I'm on like art attack or something when I do that. And here's one I just like happen to have around. Um, it needs a bit of a trim. It's a bit like rough. Uh, just did like a rough trim. But basically how you do that, <clears throat> I'm just conscious of time. So I'll just explain how to do it. And then... Um, we can go on to the there's color block and then um the pom pom animal so if you do a speckle one this is a really really easy one so basically you think about how you want your speckle to look so this one i've wrapped two white one purple and you can see white is the more dominant color if you want it completely even do one color A and one strand color B and wrap those together at the same time. If you want even more like more of one color dominant, do three or four strands of color A and one strand of color B. Or you can mix it with more of one color and maybe two other colors. So it's totally up to you and how you might want your speckle. Um, it's also super quick because when you're wrapping like three or four strands together, um, it goes really quick. So let me get some yarn here. So if I go for two white, one yellow, maybe I just continue with my neon pink today. Maybe I'm going to go for actually three three white so that I have a mostly white pom-pom so that's five strands together this is where it helps to have like a bucket or a basket for all your balls of yarn to go inside so that when you wrap it it's not like having all these yarn <laughs> balls on your desk <laughs> Um, I think this one is a bit tight. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's wrap that around. I'll bring it back to here. Wrap that around and try not to get too tangled here. Maybe I'll just make this one a really small one. Cool, wrapping that around. Oh, there's one white bit that is just catching with all the others um so this will give you like an even speckle and it looks so cool okay i think that's just about there so i recommend you put your balls of yarn in a little box or something <laughs> so that they don't roll all over the place. Okay, so let's get these. Actually, I'll just end it on this side. Get all your ends in the notch there. <clears throat> what kind of texture does the chunky yarn create? Are they a little fluffier? Um, they are. Um, they are like the strands are just thicker so it gives a different effect for sure so if you want like a really smooth um one where you have like all the fibers kind of blending together then use a thinner yarn i'll make one really quickly with this chunky yarn and then you can see it depends it depends because with this one um it ends up just being like a big fluff ball basically so it kind of um, just depends what style you want to go for. So let's tie this quick and then I'll open it up. And then you'll be able to see the speckle. So you tie that. 
Yeah, I haven't tried it with sparkle yarn before, but it would look really, really cool. Or you could use some metallic um, embroidery floss or something like that, just for like a little bit of sparkle. Um, so, and then I will sh tell you the like cheater's way to make a speckle pom-pom. So we're just gonna tie a double knot there. And then cut that open so you can see. There we go. And then when you trim that up, so you can see that white is like the dominant color. And then there's just like a little hint of pink and yellow so that will look really good i think once i trim that up so that's the speckle pom-pom so they're quite fun and that's like a good um yeah good way to use up your scraps or like the little ends of balls as well uh, if you have like a little bit left from another project 